We're here to have a conversation with the ambassador for South Africa to Cote d'Ivoire, Ambassador Naidu, and we'll be having a conversation around what opportunities are available for South African businesses to do business in Cote d'Ivoire. It's a, I, it's, a, it's a very, very interesting question, and it's one that I've often asked myself. Why is it that South Africans are, are not either adventurous enough, or how do we see risk? Because I, I heard your interview this morning, so I'll relate some of it to that. Um, there are many countries and business, businesses that are investing in Cote d'Ivoire. Yes, we are very, very uh, happy and proud that we have from MTN, Stanbic Africa, South African Airways, uh, there's an association here and, and, uh, and we call associates because you have primary South African business and I've named three of them and then we have what we call associates. Yeah. For example, you have uh, Solenta Airlines. This is an airline that is contracted to, to DHL. So the planes, the pilots, the crew come from South Africa. Then you have uh, DSTV yeah. and they're doing very well in cooperation with Canal Plus. Then you have also here a company called ATC Comafric. They are one of the, the leading uh, automobile uh, sales in, in Cote d'Ivoire. And they are representing Nissan, VW, BMW, uh, Audi. I um, hope I'm not missing out any others, but essentially. So, of course, the cars come from South Africa and from other parts of the world. But also very, very interestingly, the, the manager of ATC Comafrica, the chief operations officer, is South African. And what he's introduced here is how we would find garages in South Africa. Mm. So you're beginning now to find service station. When you buy a car, you get invited in. They have the bow on the car and you get, uh, you know, the service. If you're So what we are beginning to see is more and more South Africans that are, that are beginning to, to come in and discover. Cote d'Ivoire is open for business. Mm. It's up to us, and, and again, something that, you know, uh, being uh, a diplomat and, and not being a, a business person, so I, I don't often understand how rationales work. Because if you look at Nigeria and the number of South African businesses, and I don't want to, let's say, misquote numbers, because if I say a number and I'm not exactly sure, it creates uh, st problems for statistics. But we know there's a considerable South African business presence in Nigeria. And then there's an equally considerable business presence in Ghana. Mm. Now, these are both countries of ECOWAS. Cote d'Ivoire is a member of ECOWAS. Yes. So the same, uh, except the currency, the, the regimes in terms of laws, business, uh, goods moving in and out would be would be similar. Ghana, Accra to to Abidjan is a what forty minute flight. Yeah, forty minutes. So if we uh, catch if we take the same flight that comes through, forty minutes. Yes. So you ask yourself, so why don't they come here? Um, w w I've been here over a year, and yes, it's important to to speak French. In business, there are numerous Ivorians that speak English. So I, I don't know why then we are not just able to, to, to come across. I, I probably think it is that maybe South Africans are very traditional. We prefer to, to do business in countries that we, we, we think we know. So it would usually be in the, in the Sadiq countries or in the Anglophone countries. But opportunities are here, considerable opportunities. So it's a, it's, that's why I say it's difficult. We have been encouraging, we have been trying. I also think what we need to do is to establish a partnership between government mm -hmm. and the private sector. Yes. I think we have to use every opportunity to create an enabling environment where government and we, we are aware of uh, President Ramaphosa's um, initiative now for uh, attracting the investment. But how do we balance the inward investment with outward investment in countries like Cote d'Ivoire that is growing at uh, over the, the past uh, 
uh, since 2012. They've been growing at between 7 and 9 percent. Even during the crisis years, they were growing at 3 percent. That's really interesting. So even when they had crisis, it was 3 percent. So how do we partner? How do we learn? How do we, we create? Because I think the advantage of South African companies is that we, are, uh, we would invest, we would enter markets on an equal basis, that is partnership basis.